stick cam thing was pretty good last night. Um, it was really chaotic, and you know nothing on paper really happened. But I talked to Victor. It was good to see you again, man. Reconnect with you. Really, it's about bringing bringing people together for some sort of for some sort of movement. I don't know if we should start a political party. Seems kind of it, like that's been tried before. Well, Gandhi did a political party, and that worked. But Hitler did a political party, and that got out of hand. Political party. I, like, how do, you, how do you get a movement? What did they do in the 60s? I'm very ignorant to all of this stuff, but I, I know that it can, can work and can help. The people in charge aren't choosing to fuck everything up. They're just ignorant. They don't realize what's happening. The people with all the money aren't aren't like freaking out because they have money. They're not like bad people that are trying to keep things the way they want. They're just ignorant. They they don't understand that there's a better way, and that's why there hasn't become a better way. But they can understand it. There just has to be a dialogue of the people, and there is on YouTube. It's it's happening now. And I just got to relax. So the stick cam stuff, pulling people together on a specific time, on a specific day, is pretty interesting. And I would like to keep doing that, maybe once a week or something like that. And just group a large group of people together. People can say what they want to say, take turns, get in on video and speaking, kind of like a rally. And it could be a couple hours or three hours. Just people can come and go. I, just, I don't want to be like, I got up and spoke about what I thought was going to happen, and, and it's like, I, what, am I, what am I satisfying my ego? I don't want to get up in front of people and just start talking. I want to, there's a better way than that. I don't want to be like the, st the centerpiece, the stage centerpiece at all. Every person like gets up and speaks, but then like in every event, it seems like you have someone that's running the event, a moderator. And I could be a moderator. I've always liked being in charge of like in the simulation games that I would play, like being in charge of a kingdom and making sure everything is running smoothly and no one is, is suffering so that you divert your funds towards the degradation rather than warfare and, and expansion. And Like I've done that too in the games. You expand, you kill, but that's like needless aggression. I've learned from the games. It's so weird, these video games, like Civilization 4 IV and 3 are so well done and they they have they they use like definitions of real things real aspects of society different types of government <sighs> you see people fall into dissent when they're not entertained or when they don't have natural resources at their disposal or if you're at war and you can go to war and pump the entertainment up way up and people stay satisfied even if you're in a long cold war I say cold, but I mean like a long war. A war that you're always at, whether you're killing or not. When you have troops overseas and the people at home are freaking out about it, you just entertain them. And then they relax because they're entertained. And that's what's happened in our society with television. The last 50 years, the government's kind of used the propaganda of the video to pacify people so that it can function, its, its agenda can function. But now with interactive television, with YouTube, then that is, uh, it's changed. It's cha really changed. I've, I, for me, it's changed. I've become so much more politically aware and interested in what they're doing. Not they, what we're doing as a nation and as a people. What humanity is doing as, as a humanity, as a people. Not, not what's the government up to these days. I see them as people like me, like struggling. Hillary Clinton said, oh, I think it'll be a while more before we come to an agreement on what's going to happen in Iraq. <laughs> Don't say that, Hillary. Say that it's stopping. Say that the conflict is resolving. Do it. People may laugh at you, but it's only because they're nervous that you are shaping things. Your words reach so many people, so... <clears throat> Don't lie. That's important not to lie. Be honest about what's going on, but don't just be satisfied in that it's going to be going on for a while. I don't want it to be going on for a while. I think that the war is slowing down to an end and that the American troops are coming back to the United States. It's the only way. The violence is... 
not worth talking about. The violence is not the issue. The issue is the breakdown of communication amongst the people of the United States. So once the people in power are not ignorant, then the choices that the American government makes will not be ignorant, will not be driven by money. Oil isn't going to make the people happy. It might save us some money. We want to, we, I want to make the people understand that they need to make themselves happy. They need to look within themselves and document their past on video. I don't know if they need to use video, but if people document their past, then they overcome their demons. They confront themselves. Our past, we have to speak about our past. If we're receptacles of information of the past, and it's, it's so that we can relate it, and other people can listen to it and grow from it, and there's no shame in anything. So I say document it all, and then you become less afraid of people. That's it. That's the personal journey that we can do. And then, once we confront our past, all the t it's this constant process of confronting your past. You know, speak about the painful things that have been locked away. Speak about it, record it, speak about it, and then put it online and let people evolve. Evolve yourself. Thomas, don't get down on me. for That is one way of using the word. You can evolve yourself, and the human race can evolve, both. The word has, is a broad range of meaning. Evolution can be used in more than just human terms as well. Technology is evolving. You put that stuff on video, then once we focus, once we focus, because the reason we can't focus is because our minds are like, oh, the past, the past. So fo get that out of the way and then focus. We can create like a movement of people, of individual leaders, not of me being a, a leader or a, a centerpiece, or, you know, no statues, no, don't even look at me. <laughs> That's weird. There's no idol worship. We worship ourselves only. And we find balance with people and love people and understand people as ourselves, but we worship only ourselves. We don't even worship ourselves. I don't worship myself. But I am the only thing that's really important, because if I focus on myself, then I can focus on the other. I will shut this video off now. I, w I went out last night and got really wasted, and then I realized why we use the term wasted. It's because you're wasting your spirit. You're actually wasting. When they say human is wasted, that is horrif horrifying. A wasted. Waste is what you shit out of your ass, or pee, or throw in the trash, and that is what we become when we drink too much alcohol. We become waste. It's quite a revelation this morning, because Dominic... This, he was. They were trying to order. The, they were ordering burritos, and they were using Spanish. A little bit of broken Spanish. And this woman behind started yelling at Dominic. Was like, "You don't. You don't know Spanish, you drunk ass motherfucker. Don't. Don't be doing." That. And Dominic was like, "Let me be who I am." And he was. And I was standing there, looking down, really drunk, looking down, just listening to it. And Dominic was like, screaming, "Let me be who I am." And like, he went out in the street, and like, the food got thrown on the ground. They were yelling, and the cops came, but they were already gone when the cops like somebody came to like calm it down. And I was sitting there thinking about it all. And um, they asked me if I wanted what, what my burrito was. I said that Dominic had the ticket. So then they just looked on to the next person. And I stood there and waited more. And I accepted it. And then they gave me my, they asked me what I wanted. And I told them, Carnitas burrito. And I got that. And the woman came back. And I said, I, didn't, I was afraid of looking at her and engaging her directly. But I, I kind of looked at her. And I said, he, we're, we're cha things are changing. The people are learning more and I was so drunk and it was I mean how can you want to how can you help anybody drunk I was wasted but I was trying but I was the alcohol man maybe a beer maybe two beers but the liquor the the drunkenness Okay, uh, I'll see you.